everybody, it's Amanda from ScreenPinMommy.co.uk and today I'm going to do a project. I don't have a prototype. It's a make it up as you go along project. But I have been inspired by my, again by my lovely friend Kay, who um, the other day made a um, kind of like a card in an envelope and then put a belly band around it and it reminded me of something that I had seen uh, another lady make called Live Love Scrap who I absolutely love what she makes and she made what she called an explosion envelope and that's what I'm going to do today so I've taken my inspiration from her if you type her name into YouTube, she's a very prominent YouTuber and she will come up. And it's called Explosion Envelope. So I'm going to do my version using the beautiful Sweet Soiree papers. And I do think that this project um, is perfect for double-sided papers. So I need to pick... Um, how many papers do I need to pick? One, two, three, four. One, two. I need to pick four. I think I'll have. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna pick anything. They're all beautiful. Let's have a look. I think I'll. I'll make it really fancy. And I'll use some foiled ones. So I'll have that one. One, two, um, three. Let's have a look. Um. Let's have that one, why not? Oh no, I like that one. I'll have that one. So I'll have a fancy one, a plain one, a fancy one, and a fancy one. Oh, I don't know which papers to pick now because they're all so nice, but I want them to be different. Okay. Oh, I haven't picked my papers yet, as you can tell. Okay, so I want that one to be the outside. Then I want that one. Then I want that one, and then I'll have that one again. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, we'll have them. That's three, isn't it? Four. We'll have that one again. Yeah, that's what I'm having. So I've picked these four papers, the double sided, and this project will show both sides. So the first one needs to be. Cut to nine and a half by nine and a half. I may have to do this video in two halves, um, so please bear with me. I will co cut, cut and paste it together. I've managed to figure out how to chop shop my videos ever so slightly. Uh, very basic editing. So, and I'll save that. I will not waste it. Nine and a half by nine and a half for that one. Okay. And then the next one needs to be nine by nine. Then the next one needs to be eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And then seven and a half by seven and a half. I'll leave the measurements on my blog. And then what we're going to do is with each piece, we're going to use the envelope punch board. So this is nine and a half by nine and a half. So if I look down here, that is the six by six card size. So it then tells me I need to punch up four and three quarters. Again, I'll leave all the details on my blog so you know where you need to punch. So four and three quarters is there. Okay, punch and score. Okay, and then you're just following the lines, which I can't see very well. Because the light in here is shocking. There we go. Punch and score. Line it up. It's the only thing when it's winter because my house is surrounded by trees and it's we're up on the moors and it just gets dark and dreary. When there's no sunlight, the light in here is rubbish. I really need to get some new lighting installed to be honest but hey ho I'm just seeing where that lines up it's there yep yeah, I can feel it it's there and I've lined that up perfect have I punched it I think so so there we go so we're basically making envelopes we're making four different sizes I'm going to score them like so not scar them, fold them. <laughs> I'm gonna fold them. 
okay and then we're going to layer each different size inside each other so i'll go and i will cut and punch and score the others and then i will be back okay, so we end up with four envelopes that just go down in half an inch increments like so we've got them all great fantastic different colors so what we need to do is we need to layer them all up I'm going to do it with, I'll go on, I'll use Fast Fuse and hope that I get it straight. Um, if I had more time, I would likely do it with wet glue. To make sure I lined them up correctly. So what I'm going to do is fold one over like so and I'll line that up first. And hopefully if I line it up with that bit as well, we can get it in there nice and straight. So that's the thir first one done. Okay, then I want this one. Watch my fast fuse run out <laughs> in the middle of my video. Wouldn't surprise me. So if I fold that down and align it up here and align it up with the the flaps there to help me get it straight, remembering that I want a small increment. Okay. That will all help me get it lined up right. Okay. Like so. If I zoom up out ever so slightly. There we go. And then the same with this one. It's an extravagance, it's an extravagant way to use your paper, but if it's for a friend, you know you can't put a, a price on it, can you? Um, and what a fantastic way to show off these beautiful papers, and how beautiful they all coordinate. Even though that blue, you wouldn't necessarily normally put with that pink, it's the blues in the in the you know in the foliage <laughs> foliage there and it just works it just looks amazing and the inside here so it will all fold and close and then that one will fold and close okay and then that one will fold and close look at this beautiful and this one will fold and close Okay, and then we're going to have a very special envelope. I will um, show you a closure and then when it, your friend gets it or whoever receives it, opens it, all these lovely, lovely layers open up. Now I'm going to make a card to go in the centre. Now what you could also do on top of that, and which I may well do off camera, is you can line um, inspirational sentiments on each flap if you want. You could put little photos on, you could put little embellishments on, you could do what you want. Because this paper is so stunning, I, I'm actually not going to. So the inside here, I need a card that fits. And this measures, I believe it's four and a half by four and a half square. Okay, so that is my backing colour. And then my stamping colour, my stamping layer, which has disappeared. Where's it gone? Um, yeah, there we go. My stamping layer is then four and a quarter, is it? Four and a quarter. No, I've not cut that right. Wait a minute. I've cut mine off. It should be four and a quarter by four and a quarter. I've cut mine ever so slightly wrong. I don't know why I've done that. Don't know why I've done that, but I'm not going to worry because what I'll do is I will um, put something at the bottom. Don't know why I've done that. Right, so, not to worry, we'll work around it. I'm using Memento because I'm going to use this, this stamp here. And it's uh, one of the Celebration freebies. And it's a two-part uh, stamp set. And I'm using this one. And it says Happy. And it'll stamp out all lovely and I might just be able to just add a little bit of colour there with my alcohol markers, my stamping blends. 
Um, so that's why I'm using Memento and I'm going to use this lovely birthday as well. I think the fonts are stunning. So even though I've cut this wrong, it should be four and a quarter by four and a quarter. I'm not going to let that stress me out. Even though it's stressing me out a little bit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. Do you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm just going to centre it on my card a little bit lower than I should. Right, so I'm going to add plenty of ink on it here. I am going to practice stamp it first because I it's the first time this stamp has ever been inked. So I want to make sure that it's going to do what I want it to do, <laughs> basically, before I go and stamp it. Okay, that suggests to me I need to put a bit more ink on there. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Okay. So I'm going to put my hopper in the centre, roughly. Give it a press. There we go. Oh, I've ever stamped ever so slightly there. Never mind, I'll stick some gems on it. Um, <laughs> and then I've got my words here that says birthday. And again, I'm going to practice stamp because I haven't used it before. Okay, so it wants to be that way up. Good job of practice because I was stamping it upside down. There we go. Okay. And then just down here, I'm going to put birthday there we go beautiful okay so if I just grab some gems <laughs> to hide my mistake let's have a look what shall we do I'll tell you what we'll do we'll have some have we got some pearls I think I'll have some pearls. Let me get my stamp in my pokey tool. And I will just add some pearls to that and cover that where I've over stamped. Nobody will ever know. Genius. Look at that. A mistake is just an opportunity to embellish what oh, sound like a Pinterest quote. <laughs> there we go. Oh, where's that pearl gone? Oh, it's stuck to my finger. Get it on there. There we go. Nobody will never notice. Shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> There's only you lot, no. Okay, so that's covered up my little mistake. So now I'm just going to, I'm going to add that onto my coloured layer and I'm going to use glue on this because I don't want it to be skew with I really don't I want it to be straight there we go and because I've cut my card wrong I'll just have to centre it a little bit differently but no, not to worry don't matter there's no right or wrong is there in crafting no such thing as, as a mistake. We'll just pretend it's part of the plan. <laughs> it doesn't matter. There we go. Now that still looks really lovely, even though I have cut that wrong. So I've got some stamping blends here. I've got uh, Calypso Coral one, I think. Oh no, that's like pumpkin pie. I wanted Calypso Coral. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. I don't want pumpkin pie, that's not right, is it? I thought I had a calypso. There it is. That's the one I want. I'll just put these blends away before um, I have to hide them, otherwise, my little girl pinches them. <laughs> and they're a little bit pricey for little girls to be using. Right, so I'm just going to add some touches, just very tiny touches of colour. Um, I'm not doing any blending or anything fancy, I'm just adding colour. That's as simple as that. Um, okay. Oops. 
Uh, where else is a leaf? Uh, that's leaves. That's leaves. And this one is old olive, and I I love it for for leaves. So it's not a harsh green. It's a nice earthy, pretty green. If you know what I mean, I know what I mean. I have some calypso coral. Um, I'm picking these colours because obviously they are in the papers that I've used. So I want it all to tie in. So these look like lilies to me. And so they're getting calypso coralled. And then I'll have this one slightly different than that one. I've gone over edge there a bit, never mind. And that one. And that one. You would obviously take a lot more time and care over this. And I will apparently, if you go outside the edges like that, if you get your, is that my blender? Colour lifter. Apparently, we were showing this on stage. If you get your colour lifter and just go over where you have over coloured, it will lift that away so that it's not as visible. Okay, so I'm going to have some light pink here and here and there and I'm going to leave that as it is I'm not going to add any more but I just don't think it needs any more and then I'm going to add it to my exploding envelopes which are so easy um, I have used the envelope punch board you could do it by hand you could figure it out um, I haven't got time to work it all out but if you the basic principle of making envelopes is not a difficult one, is it? So I'm going to add that in there now. Press that on. And I think what I'll do is I will come in with some more. Where have I put them? There we go. Where's my... Oh, what have I done with it? I've done with my poker tool. I had it here a minute ago. Who's moved it? <laughs> Who's moved my poker tool? <laughs> oh dear, it could send you crazy, couldn't it? I'm always losing things. Let's try and do it with, with this. With the uh, envelope punch board uh, scarring thing. <laughs> you've got to manage with what you've got when you've... Uh, Got a pile on your desk and you can't find anything. There we go. I've got several pearls stuck to my fingers now. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. So I think that looks pretty as it is. Okay, so close from the bottom and then get off. I always do it left and then right and then top. Okay. That's just how I like to do it. So, yeah, bottom, right, left, top, bottom, left, right, top, bottom, left, right, top. And because this paper's nice and sturdy, it holds it all nicely. So, in fact, I might just do that last one. Oh, it's all come undone now. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Might just do that top one slightly different. Let me see. I think I want the bottom one up and then the top one down. And then what I'll do is I will make a fastening between there and there. So I'm just going to go away and find something to fasten it with and something to embellish there. And, and then we will continue. One moment, too. Okay, so I've got a plan. <laughs> I'm going to use some Velcro. So. This is what we're going to do. <laughs> so I'm just going to weigh all that down one moment while I cut myself 
um, a piece of Velcro and this is self-adhesive hook and loop tape um, I bought this at a shop I shouldn't have been in locally if you're in the UK you'll know which shop I mean it's that one where I really shouldn't be in there um, but every now and again I just feel the need to so <laughs> Okay, so we take the adhesive off of one side whilst the two pieces are together. That's if I can get it off. Trick it. There we go. So, I'll start with the top because I don't want that showing. But I need it as close to that point as possible so that it has room to come over and meet there which it has so I can now peel that one off get off there we go hold my envelope nicely and I can press that on and that other piece will have adhered and that now opens and because this is nice sturdy cardstock because it's cardstock it's DSP because it's foiled it can withstand that Okay, it's lovely and firm. You could use cardstock if you wanted, but I actually think that this might just slightly be better because it won't split and it won't, it's a bit more giving. And what I'm going to do is I just want to just put a little bit of something on there. Um, you could make a belly band. You could. I could. Um, shall I? I don't think I want to go to the fuss of making a belly band when we've got Velcro because it's like doing the same thing twice, if you know what I mean. So I think I'm just going to use my pansy punch for something quick and easy. I'm going to punch some flowers from one of my cut-offs here. Okay. Quite like that pink actually. But no, I'll be good. And I will double layer them and stick them together. I'm going to shape them ever so slightly. There's my tool. Just by curling the petals ever so slightly with my ball tool. Turn it over and press. And the same here. Oh, no, wrong way. That way, do the uh, shaping on the inside of your flower, not the outside. Then turn it over and press. Okay. So for speed, I'm going to use a fast fuse. I'm going to layer them up like so, one on top of the other, and then I'll just give them petals an extra curl that hasn't actually stuck properly. Let me get that. There we go. Now it now it has. Let me give it an extra an extra shape. There we go. That's better. Okay. So I'll add my fast fuse on here. Okay, and then I'll add my flower to there. Lift up these petals. And then I want some sort of gem for the middle. So let's have a look what we've got. What have I done with them? Okay, dokey, what have I done? I've got more gems than I know what to do with them. Whenever I need them, I can never find them. <laughs> I've got them coming out of my ears. Uh, and then when you need one for a video, all of a sudden they've hidden. I'll use one of these big faceted ones. They're pretty, aren't they? And we'll keep him with the silver theme by using one of these large ones here. And I'm going to stick that in there. Okay. And then just to finish off, I'm going to just do a quick 
sentiment again which stamp shall we use so we'll stay with the same um, I'm going to use this one I like this celebrate here and this is one of the celebration ones where is it is that it celebrate I like that I think it's over. so I'm having that I'll have that one I'll just mount it on my block like so and I'm going to use berry burst so that it coordinates nicely I'm using scrap card stamp that on there that's beautiful beautiful font again get some long scissors Cut that out. Whoops. I haven't stamped it straight, so I'm going to have to make it up by cutting the cardstock straight. Is that straight? Never seen straight that is now and then I'm going to I've got a small scrap no right we'll use that layer it on there like so cut that out get off it's slightly too large so just trim it a bit more and then I'm going to attach it so that when the envelopes open there we go there we go I think that's lovely so that says celebrate, okay, I've got celebration on brain, and then you open it like so, and wow, it just explodes with fold after fold of beautiful paper, and then in the centre you've got your card. I think that would make a lovely gift for anybody, um, I think it's really easy to try and have a go, but it's a bit of a wow, isn't it? Um, so that is today's project, I hope you'll give that a try. And I hope you'll have some fun with that exploding envelope. Let's move on with the garbage and let's zoom in. So there you go. Go and give it a try.